and welcome back to the second part of this tutorial so let's start with the coding but uh, we may have to redesign as we go along it's going to take some lines of code so let's do that now okay we start with the exit first double click on the exit and we will enter as follows for the exit okay have a good look at the lines of codes all right so if i run it now and click on the exit so the system asks you to confirm if you want to exit or not all right so that is the exit taken care of now back into the system okay the next thing i like to do is maybe declare some variable for this calculator and for this right underneath option explicit right here let's move this up okay right underneath here we declare the following variables that is for my calculator and I'll be using this for my currency converter okay all right so let's come right in here this is calculator like I said earlier on maybe comment it out calculator variables and here the next one is currency converter variables currency converter variables all right so let's come back in here now for each of these buttons when you double click on let's start with number seven double click on that if txt display dot text equals zero then tx let's end it first and if and then it says txt display equals number seven else txt display equals txt display plus seven so that is the very first line of code for the calculator taken care of just going to copy that have a good look at it repeat exactly the same thing for number eight paste that in there and changes to eight if i run it this is what you guys will see I can enter 7 there and I can also enter 8 in there so close that come in here double click for 9 paste that in there and repeat exactly the same thing for 9 so I will now speed it all up for just the numbers on the calculator okay that is completed for all the numbers the only one that is left now oh wait a minute let's take care of the clear button first so that will be for clear and now let's take care of, of all of these double click on that and right there enter as so we go for first number equals txt display dot text now let's clear the txt display cleared so that means whatever is on txt displays is stored in here and then the operator equals plus there that's the first one i'm going to copy that now come in here double click on subtract and change the operator to subtract repeat the same thing for multiplication change the operator to multiplication and right here division and repeat the same thing 
Uh, the reason why we have the calculator in there is uh, should in case the sales assistant might need to add up one or two things. Okay, all that is left now is to double click on the total. Let's say second number equals txt display dot text. Okay, if if operator equals the plus sign then I believe I have answer okay it's called results come back right down there copy that go back to equals again double click on it yeah then result equals first number plus second number and txc display dot text equals result and that takes care of the very first one and this so all I then do now is just copy all of these copy else if else if it if it's subtraction and subtract as follows copy that so that will be for multiplication division and that takes care of the calculator so if we run it a 9 plus 6 equals that clear there so the calculator is taken care of so let's see the lines of code for equals there we go now let's take care of this very one double click on this we need to know the name of this component here so when we click on it we want this to become dot visible equals force so if I run it and I click on it it becomes force then I can then work on these very ones and this will be exit once I click on that very exit button there let's take it up a little bit double click on this exit and the name of that very component itself let's get the name again that is the name copy that let's go back to the exit okay paste that in there the visible equals true so that will close that drag it down so that's taken care of apart from the converter itself now we need the names of this converter right here this very one okay let's come right in here and get the name that is the name copy that and double click on the form itself and we're going to enter the following so right underneath here we want the form to initialize dot add item so the item i would like you to add will be the countries so let's say what country should i start with maybe kenya close that so which means when I run it Kenya will be right there okay look at that Kenya is there so that means we need to to take care of Kenya currency so let's speed that up okay that's the currency okay so the other thing I need to do now is right in here have nationality 
so we can just get the name nationality copy that and go back into the form initialize so the nationality can be as follows as well so let's say we have let's copy that and just change this to enter nationality or we can just say nationality there with question okay your nationality and the next thing is maybe copy all of this and just make them the nationality as well you can always add more to it if you want let's copy that just change that around okay all that is done we also have one for room type okay let's come right in here room type double click on room or double click on the initialize room so we can just say select room copy that and paste in there select a room so in there room type is going to be three different types of room dot add item equals single and just paste it okay we have double We have family there okay we also have gender so in there we just enter make a selection so we change that to make a selection a selection so that is fine right so in the case of gender male or female male dot odd it's going to be okay female first or male So these are what we have on all this will be initialized onto the program including the previous codes that we have from the calendar and my time piece there. Okay, have a look at the form initialize and take it right down here. So if we run it, this is what we get okay we have single or whatever you want country of origin and so on and here gender male or female we need to change the font size though okay what about id type id type can be passport or anything so let's select that and just take care of that as well because we need an identification for our customer right in here ID type can be passport, then the other one can be driving license. Okay, driving license. Oh, pilot license. okay what about let's say ni number 
right so those are different types of identity we can use at least you must have one of those with you all right if we run it so we have an identity and so on okay here dates you can always enter your date of birth in there all right now the system is taking shape we might as well call it the end of the second part of the tutorial